That was a bit of a difficult one. Let's see what you can do with another challenger. Will you come in and sign in, please? Mike Stoller, is that right? <coughs> and Jerry Lieber, is that right? <laughs> uh, where are you all from? New York. From New York. Fine. Well, the panel is behind you. You'll be able to see them better in a moment. Will you join me over here, please? You know how we keep score? Yes. Fine. In that event, let's let the people at home and our friends here in the theater know exactly what your line is. Stoller and Mr. Lieber are self-employed. With that, let's begin the general questioning with Vincent Price. Uh, gentlemen, um, do you deal in uh, a service or services? Yes. Yes. Uh, does your service apply to both men and women? Yes. Does what you do to men and women make them happy? Sometimes. Huh? Sometimes. 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 Well, does it ever make them unhappy? Perhaps. It, was, it would pretty much depend on how the individual received the services that the gentleman offered. Well, do you ever, um, well, do you ever actually inflict pain on people? No. no. Not intentionally. Not, Not intentionally. intentionally. <laughs> no, I don't think since pain is a physical sensation, no. That's one down and nine to go, Miss Francis. Do you do any kind of detecting in your work? No. no. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Sir. Gentlemen, do you compose or design anything? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be. Uh, you gentlemen got anything to do with ladies' fashions? No. <laughs> You look like a cat who just got the whole saucer full of cream. Three down and seven to go, Miss Kilgallen. Well, if you don't design ladies' fashion, do you compose music? Yes. yes. Is it rock and roll? Yes. Time? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Mike Stoller and Jerry Lieber have collaborated as songwriters for, I guess, about seven years, haven't you? That's right. Go ahead. Give us the titles. Hound Dog and Jailhouse Rock, and I think your big new hit is, is uh, and you must excuse me for asking the question, but uh, I have to kind of get this, absorb right. this from my youngsters, is Don't, isn't that right? That's right. It's Don't. But they've had a very successful career as uh, composers of rock and roll music, and it's a fad in the country, and congratulations to is you both. Is Don't the same as Don't Let Go? No. No. Oh, no. Okay. No, it's a little confusing, Dorothy, but don't, 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 don't you worry about it. But actually, the effect or the, the popularity of, of the music is fascinating. Hound Dog sold something like five million records, didn't it? That's right. No? That's right. And it's... Uh... That's no excuse. <laughs> what made you think of writing a song called Hound Dog? Money. Uh, well, nothing really. <laughs> but, the, thing, I, the song I like that they wrote, and Vincent, I think this is your your best one too. I think you'd like this one is black denim trousers and motorcycle boots. Yes, that's <laughs> Vincent. That's Vincent. Well, we don't mean actually. You you both won very great success, and congratulations to you. I hope you have a chance to enjoy it and to go on and perhaps do more serious things in music, which you may want to do. I don't know whether you're doing that. We're planning yes, on it. Are you? Good. Yes. Fine. Vincent just said something that I think shouldn't escape the television public. He said, they must be so rich they can hardly talk. <laughs> well, thanks very much for coming to see us. Mike and Jerry, you for having us. Thank you. Thank you. In just a moment, we'll meet tonight's mystery guest, but first here is a message from our alternate sponsor. And now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity, for which I asked my friends on the panel to blindfold themselves. Are you all blindfolded, panel? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? All right, 
Panel, as you know, in the case of our mystery challenger, we go to a different form of questioning. You will ask one question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise, and let's begin it all with Bennett Sir. What tumultuous greeting would seem to indicate that you have something to do with the entertainment business. Is that correct? Yes. Miss Kilgallen? Do you sing? No. One down and nine to go, Mr. Price. Are you an imitator? <laughs> well, I mean an original imitator. No. That's two down and eight to go, Miss Francis. Do you perform either in pictures or television? Do you perform either in pictures or television? I do. Mr. Sir? Are you one of the stars of the bridge on the River Kwai? <laughs> No. That makes it three down and seven to go, Miss Kilgallen. Do you have anything to do with an orchestra? I fired a few. What? <laughs> I didn't no, hear I think that. The question here. I didn't uh, hear the, the answer. Well, that, it was it was a good answer, Dorothy. What it meant to convey was. Well, what that there what is was a... it, John? Could I have the answer? Uh, well, I don't know. Wait a minute. Let me think about it. No. No. Said no. No. That makes it four down and six to go, Mr. Price. I don't know. Uh, do you uh, do orchestras as an act with your own voice? No. <laughs> I know who I'm thinking of. <laughs> Good. Five down and five to go, Miss Fred. You are not thinking of the right thing. I do, with you know. Uh, do you appear in television regularly? I do. Mr. Sir? Have you got a weekly show? Very weekly. <laughs> Hold <it> a minute. <laughs> I don't think I cleared up whether he has anything to do with an Thanks. orchestra or not. No, <laughs> wait a minute, Dorothy. Before we go to the orchestra, I think it's only fair to Bennett uh, to review his question. Did, was your question specifically, do you have a weekly show? Yes. I think and we have to give very you weak. a very weak. Well, actually, it's so weak you'll get a no. That's six down and four to go, oh. Oh. Miss Kilgallen. Now, you want to go to the orchestra, Miss Kilgallen. No. Well, I'd like a clarification if it wouldn't count against me for the second time. No, actually, the question as you posed it was first answered humorously and then more specifically so that you would not be misguided. The answer was put simply as no. Oh, well, all right. I'll ask this question. Do you play or attempt to play a musical instrument? No. That makes it seven yeah. down and three to go, Mr. Mm. Price. Do you play anybody's father on television? <laughs> Gee, I hope it isn't a woman. No. No. <laughs> that makes it <laughs> eight down and ten to go, Miss Francis. There was quite a laugh on weekly uh, when Bennett asked that question, and you cleared it up, and the answer was no. Now, does that mean that you appear more than once a week on television? Like all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all the way. What does he mean? You mean That's daily? Yes, yes, Bennett. Daily, that's John. Would you have anything to do with the, the broadcasting of or discussion of news? No. Nine down and one to go, Miss Kilgallen. Oh, uh, <coughs> Dorothy. Arlene has a weenie. Uh, yes, Arlene, I do want a conference desperately. Um, it might possibly be just now on the show. Oh. Well, he's on it tonight. I know. All right, I'll he's ask. Network, a, I'll ask a suggestion. For which I give the full credit to Arlene Francis. Are you Jack Parr? Yes. <laughs> well, panel, as you know, we welcome Jack back. We've had him, Vincent, he's been in your seat with us. Yes. And uh, 
It's nice to have him over here beside me. It's more fun over here, don't you think? Or do you think it's more fun over there? I never could play the game well, I must admit. I can't keep my mind on it. <laughs> Boy, that was great. That voice was a honey. You can drove it right down into your shoes. Gargle with alum before the show. <laughs> well, I think that we ought to say one nice word about CBS having an NBC man on our show I tonight. I do, too. Because tonight no, is very we prominent. We certainly very... should. They fired me. We can say <laughs> that. <laughs> they did me too. Thank you, Jackie. That was good. Until next week, this is John Davies saying good night, Miss Dorothy Gilgallo. Good night, John. Good night, Vincent. Have good night. fun in the fly. Thank you, darling. Good night, darling. <laughs> good night, Vincent. It was lovely to have you with us. Dennis, now you've learned your lesson tonight. You <laughs> ask a question and you get an answer. <laughs> yes, but not such a long one. <laughs> good night, John. <laughs> good night, Bennett and Vincent. It's been very nice having you with us. Thank you. Hope we see you again soon. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being with us on What's My Line? If you'd like to attend our broadcast and see the panel and our guests in person, write for tickets to What's My Line? CBS Television, 485 Madison Avenue, New York, 22, New York. Transportation for contestants on What's My Line is arranged by American Airlines. What's My Line is a Mark Dixon, Bill Thompson production in association with the CBS Television Network. This is Hal Sims speaking.